guys, it's Adana. I have a really quick announcement for you. If you're trying to get into PA school, I want to help you. That's why I'm offering a 60-minute consultation session with me personally via the phone or video chat where I will help you personally develop a plan to help get you into PA school. For the video with the full details on how we're going to get that done, go ahead and head to the description box below because there'll be a link there or it will be pinned to the first comment on this video. Or you can always just go on to my website at adanathepa.com and schedule your appointment today. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So some of you who have already gotten into PA school have been asking me to do this video. So here it is. What tools do I use, did I get for PA school? And that is exactly what we're gonna be talking about. So um, even if you aren't in PA school or going to PA school yet, this video is very beneficial for you because then you'll just get some type of idea of the actual equipment that you'll be using once you get into PA school. So with my school, they, I think most schools actually do this, but with my school, they already like had an affiliation with a particular company. Um, the company was Welsh, Welsh Allen. Welsh Allen right there, Welsh Allen for you guys. So it's Welsh Allen and um, they just produce or they get give you access to a lot of different medical equipment. So we had to get our package from Welsh, Welsh Allen. Sorry, it's like a tongue twister, you guys. I'm so sorry about that. But we had to get our packages from Welsh Allen and um, we also had a representative from Litman because everybody has to get lit. <laughs> Just a little medical humor for you. But we got our stuff from Lippman. We had a representative from Lippman actually come and talk to us about our stethoscope. And so we did all of this during orientation. So by the time, I think maybe we got it within a week, we got all of our stuff. We got our scrubs because we have scrubs that we have to wear for anatomy lab and for um, different like PD lab stuff. So we got our scrubs from there. We got all of our equipment, um, the Lippman guy, came through with them and we had everything in about a week. We also got our white coats from them as well. So that was all done in that first three or so days of orientation when we were just going through like figuring out what was going to be happening in PA school and what equipment we needed. I already spoke about it. This is my Litman 3M um, stethoscope. I kind of, I did an upgrade so I went with like the charcoal look because you can it usually comes in like a silver so but I went with the charcoal look because I wanted a, a little bit more stealth and I think I actually want another stethoscope because there's this one Litman stethoscope that's so nice you guys it has like this actual like I don't know rainbowy colored actual bell and diaphragm that I really want to get so maybe I'll get that like for graduation or something because it looks so sick but I went with the plum color there were other colors there's like uh Caribbean blue and all of these other different colors there's like pink so you're like the sky's the limit when you're getting it but we the, our program said they wanted 3m there are different lengths and different types but we got the 3M Litman stethoscope. Well, the first thing they do is teach you how to put it on. So do you, I don't know if you can see um, from the side, it shows you that it's kind of like bell shaped in. So that means like going towards the nose. That's how you put your stethoscopes in. There you go, it's on. And then with us, we the bell and the diaphragm, um, they, you know, pretty much you use them for different things like low sounds or high sounds, but you can easily switch it. I can turn my stethoscope and that, changes so right now i can hear it here on the diaphragm and i turn it i can hear it on the bell so um there are different options for that um but they have a nice cool little thing um which actually shows you there's like a little dot which shows you which one is on so always be sure to do that love my stethoscope love it love it love it love litman so great stethoscope to get um great company to get it with so with welsh allen they pretty much brought our whole, like everything, the package. So we had to get, of course, like your tuning forks and stuff. So for like your Ren and Weber tests, like this one is like vibrating. I can hear it. Um, we do like the Ren and the Weber, you know, you'll learn that when you're doing your H-E-N-T module, but it's a little gentle hit. I don't know if you can see it vibrating, but it's vibrating right now. 
and then I stop it with my hand. So these are like my tuning forks that I've been using in my PD class. Um, and then I have not used it at all. I tried it on my daughter. It was like an epic fail. You know, this is my percussion hammer um, so that I can test like the different deep tendon reflexes. Did not work. I don't know, maybe I wasn't tapping hard enough or I wasn't really tapping on her patella tendon or what, but it didn't work. Oh, when you're dealing with kids, you have to distract them, right? So I'm giving her my tape measure. There you go. There you go. All right. I don't know. I'm trying to get her um, reflexes. You have to hit it right on the patella tendon. That was was that a reflex you yeah, had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to know, not that. This, this. So um, I guess I need a little bit more practice with that one. So usually I'm used to like, you know, just the little like wind up uh, blood pressure cuff, but they gave us these, like these blood pressure cuffs. So it like, here's the wind thing here, you guys. But like, I just felt like this was so huge, but it's like actually, it's like pretty comfortable and it's great. And they came with, we have the adult size cuff that came in a nice little handy, the package that I showed you, nice little handy package. Comes with your blood pressure cuff for the adults. And then look at this thing, oh my gosh! Look at how cute and small this is, you guys. This is the kids blood pressure cuff. This is so cute! Lil's little hand is spinning in here. This is too cute. So like this is gonna come in handy um, when I am doing my uh, pediatric rotation. So that's really cool, but nice little cute blood pressure cuff for the kids. I don't know why little things are just always so much cuter, right? But it fits in here, goes back in there. Nice little pressure gauge at the zero mark. So that's always test that because there are times when it's not necessarily at the zero mark and that means that it needs to be recalibrated or it's broken so um, you can always send it back and things of that nature. And I know that with, um, let me just go back to that because with my Littman stethoscope, it is like, a, you have like a, I don't know, is it a 10 year warranty? I'm not really sure how long the warranty is but I have a warranty on this where if any part like chips or breaks or something like that, I can send it back to them if the tubing um, gets messed up somehow, if it gets ran over by a car five times, as long as I have the pieces, I can send it back and they will replace it for me. Now you can't like lose it and try to get it replaced. Like you'll have to pay for a new one. But if you still have the pieces, there is a, a warranty on that. So that is really cool to know, okay? I also got the ophthalmoscope. So this is my ophthalmoscope, you guys may have seen it. Um, you see my light there shining on my hand. I can dim it. Um, I can like dim the light, turn it off, turn it on. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. Um, I sh shined it there in the camera for you guys. So that is my ophthalmoscope. Um, some people opted for the panoramic one, which gives you like the full view of the back of the eye. Like it's huge. It's like, has like this, it almost looks like a little gun. Like it has this tubing that goes around like across it and then you like take it and you put it on the person's like whole entire eye and you just look in. So you don't have to like find the, you know, the cup and the fovea and all that stuff just like by going in and doing all of the methods that they usually teach you on how to use your ophthalmoscope. You just kind of put it on and then you look in and it's there. So some people opted for that and like a couple people, but it was like really, to me, I just felt like I needed the basics. Like I didn't need um, to spend extra money to get the panoramic one. Maybe after I become a PA, I will realize like, oh, okay, I think that might be something that I want to do. Or if I go into ophthal ophthalmology, that might be something that I want to do. But for now, I think that just your regular old basic ophthalmoscope will do. Um, this switches it comes off, right? So it comes off and then I can put on my otoscope. So it just kind of slips in, otoscope is on and same thing, like same thing, light, 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 where's the light? Light, right? You see the light. And then so you can go in, you look in the air. Um, it comes with disposable and reusable 
um, pieces. So you have large ones and small ones for uh, different air types and for the nose and all of that stuff. So this is handy. This is my thing. I love this thing. I use this quite often. Um, so really liked it. And again, takes it right on off. So now like for this, you have to charge it. So it just kind of, it's really, really neat. Like look at this, boom, right there. So you just plug it into the wall, you charge it, and it's cool, like it's done. Like that's it, you charge it up. Um, there was another one like more lightweight, like I don't know, this one doesn't really feel heavy in the hand, but apparently when you feel the lightweight one, that actually, it's like a black grip, It's you can tell the difference, but it's more lightweight. And then it, I believe it tells you when it's fully charged. This one doesn't tell you when it's fully charged, so it, they just tell you to kind of like, charge it up overnight if you see your light is um, dimming charge it up overnight um, and make sure that you kind of get it as charged to full capacity as you can because kind of like a cell phone you know like if you don't let the cell phone charge up fully when you first get it before using it like the battery capacity is like severely diminished so same thing with this but that is um that's my package for that um it comes in this nice little case like here you go, nice little case, right? Nice little case there and we can open it up and you see all of my equipment just sitting right in there. Oh, something went overboard, I'll get that later. I think it was like my speculums. And that's pretty much it. I have this pen light, this actually comes with it as well. So um, I don't know if some of you who've seen your physicians or PAs use this um, in your ophthalmology clinics that you may go to, but this is like the old school way of doing um, your actual like panoramic type views. So you can use this or pan optic ophthalmoscope to actually look in and see with your ophthalmoscope like the whole eye and it, it this is very helpful so it comes with this as well so even if you didn't get the panoramic ophthalmoscope you can use this pan optic cube to see in the eye then your handy little dandy pen light so it comes with a little sleeve because you have to slide it off so that you can push on this so that the light works and you can slide it back and I'm pushing, no light, right? But you use this, you know, to do your direct and consensual light and, um, you know, if you wanna see something, I don't know, if you wanna look under a bed or something, like, I don't know, like you're in a room, you're with some peds, you're, they're scared of the dark, I don't know, there's monsters under the bed, go ahead and use your little <laughs> pen light to look and see, but that's what we, pretty much use it for, for the direct and consensual light. And that is it, those were all of my equipment. That's all that I received for PA school. That's all that we were required to get. Um, some people got like little carrying cases. I'm like, um, I don't need that. I'll put it in my bag, like I'm fine with that. But I mean, it would be cool to have like a nice cool bag that you can carry all your equipment in. Um, but I opted not to do that. But if you want to, they have that as well. Like they have like the old school, like, you know, back in the 1970s doctor carrying bag. And then they have like some better, like a little bit more fashion forward bags. So very, very good option for you. I suggest you go check them out, Walsh Allen. There are some other companies obviously that do medical equipment as well. Um, and But definitely you, I like my products that I got from there. and go get a Littman stethoscope. You might wanna check on your schools because some schools, um, like my school, if you already had like a 3M or one that was comparable, made by Littman, you were fine. You did not, you weren't required to get another stethoscope because they're expensive, you know, like that's, it's like a hundred plus dollar investment depending on the upgrades that you get. So just some things to think about. Um, hope this helps. I hope you guys are preparing for PA school. You're getting your stuff together. And I hope this makes it a little bit easier to choose the right equipment that you may need for your PA school journey. All right. Thank you guys so much for requesting this. Um, I really love doing it. I love Oh, my stethoscope. Let me put my stethoscope on so I look a little bit more official, right? Um, but thank you guys so much for requesting it. If you have any other requests, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below um, so that I can get some of your ideas and see what we can do with respect to making that video for you. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel right 
now. Like right now, go hit that subscribe button right now. And um, I will see you guys next week. All right, talk to you later. Bye.